Good day and happy weekend. I hope you're having a great weekend outside there. Um, not really um, a nice or a, a sweet worm um, here this weekend um, because, like I said, it is our custom on Onif TV at serious matters. On serious matters, we come um, with um, situations or news that make the round and you know, we dissect and look into them. And so, <laughs> uh, we have one that is not too so smiling. We are all uh, already in the know of what happened at um, Doen College. The 12-year-old boy, Sylvester um, Oromoni, um, who died uh, as a result of bruises, bruises and uh, injuries from um, a purported sport activity, whereas the boy actually confessed, I mean, actually said just before he died, mentioned a number of names of students who actually tortured and beat him because he did not um, join a secret cult. And recall uh, that the school had come out with a press statement, which I would, you know, turn out to you in a moment. Um, and also note that the school is a boarding school and um, there have been so much assertions as to what really happened. Why the boy was said to have, um, to have been one not to say or tell what really happened to him because he actually said that he was tortured with even, uh, he was one never to mention what happened to him or else he will die and so on and so forth but then um first of all it is or it will be you know um very very important that i mention at this point that the school has been closed down indefinitely by the Lagos state government which of course i think is the first thing that needed to be done and question quite a number of questions come to mind you know when you hear this um kind of issues when we you know here are issues that have to do with, um, you know, students being killed, especially in boarding school. Um, I attended a boarding school for, I think, the first three years of my secondary school. And um, uh, it wasn't funny, you know, when you talk about court, at, or court activities. But it becomes more alarming when, you know, because at that time, it was our seniors who were doing it. Um, just the people were in SS3, they were aged, they were old people, you know. But now, we now have young chaps who, you know, at that age, once you want, they, they, were, they were forcing him to be inducted or to be initiated into a court. And it, it's, it's, it pours so much cold water into me because it goes beyond, you know, just what has happened. That tells you how much the boarding house we used to think was the it used to be the safest place you could be it could be it used to be the safest like seriously when your child goes to boarding school he can't they come out boarding house students will always come out the best we're always better than the day students not because we come from well-to-do family i come to think of a school that pays over one million i tell you the the family that can handle that or i mean financially in the country or nigeria of today um they, they must be <laughs> they must be one who who have enough to eat and you know left over and that is not to say that that is to say that people are spending so much to keep their children in school but then the boarding house had now turned out to be something else because of all the states that we hear and you know when we go back into memory lanes you you hear of you know even the girls school schools that are only girls the ones that are only boys quite a number of things but now you know look at a 12 year old boy be forced to be initiated into cults in a school that is supposed to be a faith-based school and some of the things that i'll be mentioning on this video is the fact that we must not leave um decency to the fact that a place is a faith-based place because jesus christ did not come to save those he did not come to uh he, he didn't come to save those who are already okay 
He came like a physician looking for those who are not feeling fine. So also is the devil on assignment. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, it says, Our enemy, the devil, is prowling around, going around, looking for whom to devour. And for those he had already gotten, as it were, he doesn't bother himself about them. He is bothered about those he hasn't gotten. Which makes these faith-based institutions a focus. Which makes the faith-based institution a focus and a target by the enemy. And so, we, we just jump into conclusion and feel... Now, look at what happened at, um, what's it called, um, Deeper Life School. You remember that? I think that was in Podacot. And so, you, you can, we, can, we can go down memory lane and pick on, you know, events that have taken place. I'm a Christian, and I will not do anything against my faith. I will not, you know, I won't blackmail or do anything. But then, we all must wake up. We all must wake up that the times that we are in are more delicate. They are more dangerous than the times we grew up. The boarding schools of now are not the same as the boarding schools of then. If a 12-year-old boy, a 12-year-old boy, now I'll, I'll be playing a video for you so that you can see um, the boy while he uh, while he was in the hospital just before he passed on, we we are going to see we are going to see a video of, of that very very painful video. Uh, maybe until now I was I've not been able to watch that video um, a second time because of the, the the sensitivity of such of the of the content therein, and you know it, it's it's so painful. It's so painful. Um, we. We pray that such doesn't repeat itself. We do not want to see such repeat itself. We pray that God will, um, you know, help give this the parents the, the fortitude to bear this huge loss. You know, it is indeed a huge loss. Let's see the video uh, as produced or as given to us by Sege. Don't carry your tummy up, don't carry your tummy up, rest it, rest it, please. Oh, rest it's alright, it's alright, so. No, 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 no. It's no, 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 Hit my son like this. My God will not forgive them. The God I'm serving will bring judgment upon them. We bring judgment upon them in that generation. It shall never be there with them. Because this is this is part of evil. evil. Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine that? Can you just imagine parents, a parents watching his own child die? Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine that? Look at the pain the boy was going through. Look at, he couldn't touch. There was no part of the body that was touched and he wasn't crying. Yet, the, I, I would read the statements. Maybe it will make some sense now. Let's, let's see the statement that was released by Dowen College. The statement that was released by Dowen College. Um, press statement on Oromoni Sylvester. The attention of the management of Dowen College has been drawn to the viral post on the sad demise of one of our precious Children, Sylvester, Sylvester Romani. On 21st day of November 2021, one of the hostel parents reported to management that Sylvester was injured while play, playing football. <laughs> while playing football. You saw the mouth of that boy. While playing football. There is more to... Doen, Doen College has more to tell us, please. Doen College has more to tell us. And... They should be. They should be punished. They should be prosecuted for even releasing this fake.
fake press release. This is fake. This is fake. Uh, and these are things that these are things that the Minister of Information should pay attention to. Not you know some of the things that these are things that Allah you should pay attention to. This is these are real fake things. A boy had football injury. I think we never played football. A boy had football injury and his mouth decaying, his mouth eating up. He's crying as a result of as a result of um, pain in the stomach in every part of the body. The boy said that he was given something to eat, to drink. He poured something in his mouth. They put up the light. They were beating him from all angles. They poured something into his mouth. But he knows them. And he mentioned about, about three of them. The resident register, uh, registered nurse immediately administered first aid on him and after he expressed relief, um, was released to return to his hostel room. Sylvester was in class on Monday, 22nd day of November 2021, but during school hours, one of his friends accompanied him to the sick bay where he accompanied or where he complained of some pain in his hip. The doctor examined him and prescribed ibuprofen for the pain. While the nurse massaged his leg, after which Sylvester said he felt a bit better. In, according, in accordance with school policy, the resident doctor called Mrs. Oromoni, uh, reporting the incident and requesting that she come for him so that he could get further medical attention. The mother, however, said she was not in Lagos, spoke with Sylvester and prayed with him on the phone and promised to send the guardian to pick him up immediately to further I mean, for further medication. Uh, medical attention. When the guardian failed to show up the next day, on the 23rd of November 2021, the doctor called the mother again and, his, and this time she assured that his guardian would pick him up from school. Sylvester's guardian showed up and took him for x-ray, after which the guardian informed the school management that the result of the investigation revealed that no part of his body was broken or injured. Hmm. Now the resident doctor also called the mother later in the week to check on to check up on sylvester's progress but she informed the doctor that sylvester was sleeping at the time the principal also spoke with mrs oromone on the phone to inquire about this about his progress and she reported that he was having a massage and gave the phone to sylvester to speak with the principal as a result it came as no small shock to us to read with wild social i mean wild social media tales that sylvester was beaten by some students and that he specifically mentioned some names. We immediately commenced the investigation and invited the student mentioned for interview. Sylvester Guardian was also present during some of the investigations. It was revealed that nothing of such happened. And so where did the story come from? The whole incident was strange and unbelievable. Still, talk, still on the report, on the press release of the school. It says the school has effective anti-bullying um, policies and consequences are well spread out to all the students. Now that doesn't stop the devil from doing whatever he wants to do. Now leave the devil out of this. The preliminary investigation showed that there was no fighting, bullying or any form of attack on the boy. There were no reports by Sylvester himself, his sister who is also a student or any other student prefects, house prefects, medical staff or any of the management staff about any fighting or bullying incident. The school has two regular nurses and unqualified medical doctors that promptly attend to students' medical needs. The resident doctor followed the lay-down procedure by inviting Mrs. Oromoni, um, Oromoni to take Sylvester home for further treatment after initial treatment by the school's medical staff. The school has a very cordial relationship with the Oromoni family as Sylvester is the fifth child of the family, though when college has the privilege to train including his elder sister who is currently a student at the school. Furthermore, we stage categorically Doen College is built on core values of godliness and excellence and will not tolerate any act of cultism, which is why there is nothing like that and there has never been such deviant activity going on as this is a faith-based school and effective policies are in place to prevent such occurrence. We deeply saddened, we are deeply saddened by the death of Sylvester, who was a dearly beloved student of the school. Hmm. We wish to extend our deepest sympathy and heartfelt condolence to the Romani family, relatives, friends, and classmates at this very difficult time. Thank you, Principal. 
And so that takes us back to where we are today. Now, are we really getting what is expected from boarding schools today? Now, because I can't imagine that you went to drop your child in school, you drop your child in school, and the child is brought back to you in body bags. God forbid bad thing. And that's my prayer for every one of you who is watching. You have families, you have children in boarding schools, they won't return your children for you in pieces or in body bags in Jesus' name. But it is alarming. It's not, it's not funny at all. The, the, the story of this boy, I mean, sincerely speaking, has not been funny. I mean, when you watch that video, you will agree with me that what they said happened is not what happened to that boy. Now, they, they, can, they, they, can, they can tell as much lie as they want to tell. Anybody can prove it and say that nothing happened. But, okay, maybe an autopsy will tell us what happened to that boy, what killed that boy. I don't know what type of football he played on. And recently, the mother actually, in a video, has called for a protest um, against or to um, Darwin College by mothers. She has called on mothers to join her in protesting. She has called on fathers to join her in a peaceful protest to Darwin College. They have today all the public, not just your Romani family, because Sylvester was only born by that family. Sylvester belongs to Nigeria. And so it's not, you know, people, people make the mistake of, oh, it's my child, it's my child. Yeah, you are only a caretaker. That child is a gift to the world. It's a gift to the world. So you owe the world at large, you know, an explanation as to what happened to that child. You owe the world. All sort of, all sort of headlines, you know, popping up. People reacting to the death of this young boy. He was said to have been tortured by classmates for refusing to join a cult. You know, they say even the the rich they weep. He won't say that the father or the parents have not tried by taking their children to school. But, by the way, we won't say boarding house should be scrapped. But I think that instead of having this long stay, it should be broken. It should be broken. Um, two weeks, one week, two weeks, one week. I think it will be better that way. So as to be able to keep an eye. You see, we were in boarding schools. There is not, there's little, there's little concentration or there's little attention. Um, all a uh, 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 hundred students are going to get from our what is she called now? What is he called now? Our hostel master. How many does he want to look after? He is also human. But I think that um, parents also should uh, join in the race. Unfortunately, there are some parents who, as a result of laziness, dump their children. They dump their children in boarding school. They don't look after them. I mean some parents, mind you. I said some parents. Only for them to return home, and they are not doing anything. It's not like it's not like the mother is doing anything. I once met a woman who said, who said they, they, they said her child sleeps a lot in school, and she withdrew the boy. We drew the boy from boarding house and brought the boy home and said, I will see how you sleep with me at home. Who knows what they have been giving the boy to drink? I'm not talking about the school authority now, but his friends. Most of the problems that children have today come from peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. That is why there is a need for a focused attention on them if you want anything good to come out of them. There must, there must be a daily check on them. A daily check on them. What you didn't see there yesterday and you are seeing there today, check. Find out who put it there. And I mean, something you didn't see your child put, bring for me. I, 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 oh, oh. Those days, 
you dare come home with one pencil that is not your own? Ah, okay. <laughs> you will explain. You will explain because because they will beat you. Your, uh, you know what I'm talking about. They will beat you from home to school. I don't know if some of you have had that, that sort of experience. You have called parents. Your mom will beat you from home to school. Ah, your, 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 you are even standing in front of your teacher. He's already spanking. The, your dad is spanking you from. It's even your teacher that will be begging for you again. So sad an incident. According to the cousin of um, of Sylvester, he said this was the state of Sylvester uh, Junior before he died. He couldn't raise a leg or an arm. In a video posted online, like I showed you earlier on, the now deceased student can be seen with bruises, bruised lips, and was also being carried around as he was unable to move on his own. This comes after the school management released the statements. On Thursday, December 2, denying claims that the student was beaten because he refused to be initiated into a cult. That means there is a need to check the system of the school properly. There has been some infiltration. I think though when college should see this more as a revelation as to what is happening in there that they don't know anything about. By even admitting, by even admitting, I think admitting will even go a very long way. Even though it shows that, to some extent, they have no, they do not, they are not keeping an eye on the children as much as is expected of them. I mean, because one would expect that you pay so much, it is good. As, it is as good as it is as good as having one guardian to one student. Yes, in a school you are paid over a million naira. What are you talking? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? Even the ones where we pay peanuts, you still expect so much from them. Yes, it will bring down the, the, the CV of that school. It will bring down the, the, the accolades they probably have been getting before. It will bring it down. But admitting will go a very long way. Not telling lies that um, he was playing football. Who said he played, he played football? Who said so? Because it's the same way you were told that he played football, that he's, be, he's saying that he was beaten. Look at, look at bruises on the boy's mouth. Did you, did you, can you see that behind me? That's the boy's mouth. Look at bruises on his mouth. That's pictures before, just before he passed on. Died in pains. And I mean serious pains. Serious pains. Serious pain. So I feel that at this time, Doen College needs to tell us what really happened. Um, they need to explain to us what really happened to that boy. And like I said, I'm not a medical person, but then I think a post uh, an autopsy should be, should, be called, should be conducted, a post-mortem, and to know exactly what happened to the boy. To know exactly what happened to the boy. He said, according to, to the statement, the student only fractured his hip during the game of football and was released to his parents for further treatments. Ah, I pray for you, all parents, and myself, all of us together. When we send our children to school, they won't bring them back to us in pieces in Jesus' name. This incident has been very, very mind boggling. Interestingly, I had something else to talk about. I was going to talk about one of our great politicians, you know, draw up, draw up conclusions about him and his ambition to become president of Nigeria. But don't worry, we'll come back to that. Let us honor Sylvester with this. Before he passed on, the student was said to have mentioned names of some, some of the students who were behind the attack. An allegation the school vehemently denied maintained that it was a faith-based school. Nigerians are now questioning the authenticity of the claim made by the school, which is what we're doing here. And so you can drop your comments, make it as simple as possible, with many pointing out that a fractured hip couldn't have caused so much damage. A fractured hip couldn't have caused so much damage.
the fractured hip couldn't have caused so much damage. So sorry, a case. So sorry, a case. I, 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 you know, the interesting day, the school now went on to, to shut down. To shut down. They, they, they first of all shut down the school for two weeks, for two days. The school said, you know, probably to honor Sylvester. They, they closed the school. They told they, they sent messages to parents or probably on the platform telling them that they shouldn't come to school on Friday and on Monday, which also helped them to be able to prepare for their um, exams and all of that. But then I want to work home. I want to work. Well, um, like I said earlier on, the school has been has been closed down now indefinitely. He has been closed down now. The school has been closed down now indefinitely. His father also, you know, came out to say that the, he he was he was he was tortured to death. He was tortured to death. If I can get that video for you, let me see. Let me see if I can get that video for you. He, let me see if I can get that video for you. Just because of your time. It's so sorry a case. It's so sorry a case. I wish this never happened. You know, um, some, some things just happened and you just wish they never happened. Uh, and how we wish that we could turn back the hands of time and say, oh, it never happened. Or let's, let's, let's say that um, um, this or that. What happened? So, that's, that's the voice of the father. That's the voice of the father. That's the voice of the father. In the night, nobody will sleep. You have to carry it to the toilet. Mm. The one who will carry it. Mm. Anything that you talk, you'll be telling me breath test. Breath test. My tone, my tone, my tone. Someone will be late. My back. Don't talk about it. Where do you carry the next person? Do this something. Every back. What? The truth that you have to do in your leg. This battle in your leg. Now it's so it's so pathetic. It's so pathetic and, and unfortunate that such has happened and Sylvester is no is not anywhere here. Is Sylvester is gone. You know, it, it's so pathetic. It's so pathetic. And so that's that also um calls the attention of 
school authorities, especially those who have boarding facilities, to put more eye on the activities of students in the school. Now, a secret cost is a secret thing. It's secret. It's secret. If you are not sensitive, you won't know. A boy can be gentle. And we've had them. I was in secondary school. We knew them. They were very, they were the quiet, the most quiet. The most quiet. And they were cult members. And so somebody can be gentle and still be, you know, a, a gang, a gang, a gang person. So I think this is a call for, you know, apart from you know, Dowen College having to give us what really the activity that really took place and what led to the death of Sylvester. It's also a call on all institutions, especially those with boarding facilities, to, to keep more eye on these children. We can't say boarding facilities should be scrapped because, you know, some parents are truly busy, you know, they can't really join the job and everything. Some, I mean some, not many of you have, many of you who went to dump, you went to dump them. You actually dumped them. Many of, some parents dumped their children in boarding school. They dumped them. And remember, this, these kids are the heritage of God. They are God's treasure. So don't act as though they don't belong to you. Don't act as though they, you know, after all. Let's take care of them. May the soul of Sylvester rest in perfect peace. Well, like I would always say, drop your comments, make it as civil as possible. But then, um, just to keep you in the know, the school has been closed down. That is the latest. It's been closed down indefinitely. And then we would update you on, you know, the goings that take place. Cast, I mean, that happens um, with respect to Sylvester um, or Romani late. Oh, so sorry, Chris. Okay. Please do have a very wonderful weekend. My name is Olukunle Abraham. And of course, uh, like I would always say, please do drop your comments and make them as civil as possible. Thank you. Bye-bye.